Hey there, math students. This is a brief video on how to use logarithms on your TI-84 Plus calculator. Uh, now, before we go any further, you might want to check your calculator to see that it has the most current firmware or software on it. Press the second key in the upper left corner of your keypad and then the plus, and then press enter so that we can look in the about screen. And this will tell you the uh, current firmware version. Now, uh, if it says 2.40 or something like that, if it's not current 2.55 or 2.56, then uh, you need to update your calculator uh, because some of the things I'm going to do here won't work on your calculator. All right. So, why are you learning logs in the first place? Here's why. All right. Up until this point, you've had to solve equations that are kind of like this, where these aren't too bad we have to apply an inverse operation to get x all by itself, or in other words, to isolate x. We just divide both sides by 5, and x is equal to 5, and we've figured things out. Not too tough. Logarithms help us in a situation where you might have an equation that's kind of like this. Notice here, the x, which is what we want to isolate, is in the exponent. Now, we can't just divide by 10. We can't subtract 10 away. We need a logarithm, which is the inverse operation of a exponent in order to bring x down here where it'll be by itself. So let's see how we use logarithms. So we want to find out what x would be in this situation. So we're going to hit log 1,000. Now, in case you didn't know, unless there's if there's no number down here, it's assumed to be a log base of 10. We hit enter, and voila, we get 3. That means that this is 10 to the power 3 is equal to 1,000. And you can always check, just to make sure, by doing 10 to the power 3. And it is. So we see here that uh, log of 10,000, you can kind of guess what it's going to be. It's going to be 4. So there it is. Now, oftentimes you don't get problems that are that easy. You get a problem that looks like this, where we need to get rid of a base, which is something other than 10, like 5, for example. How do we get a log base 5? All right, well, most likely in your textbook, you have something called the change of base formula, where you can uh, do a quick calculation, and you can use regular old log base 10. That'll work for this. Uh, in the numerator um, and then have the base in the denominator. So again, the 125 is equal to 5 to the power x. We would do log 125 divided by log of 5. And we see that our answer here is 3. So testing it, 5 to the power 3, we get 125. Now thankfully, we can put in any base log on this calculator. Just hit the alpha key, the y equals key, and we get this little menu here. This is the menu for putting in fractions, but we want the menu for various functions. And so we hit the window key, arrow down to, or hit the uh, number five key, log base. And now we can put in any base we want. Log base five of 125 is three. Pretty slick. And if you wanted to be silly, we could get the natural log by going with log base. Uh, where is it on this calculator? Log base e to the power 1. And look at that. We have a homemade natural logarithm. OK. Now you can also graph a logarithm, too. Go into the graphing menu, y equals, and put it in. Log of x. And hit graph. Now it looks kind of like this little tiny gradual rising. And this is the inverse operation of 10 to the power x. And it would be reflection in the y equals x line. All right. Well, I hope that helps out. Now you know how to use any base log on a TI-84.